I just want to start out uh, by welcoming you all here to Albany, those of you that came in from out of town. Um, this is uh, this uh, wine and grocery store issue. Uh, certainly has been a hot topic uh, in Albany for a long time. Uh, I look forward to having uh, uh, an open, an honest, and a frank discussion. Uh, I'm not looking for an argument uh, here today from either side uh, or from anyone up here on the panel. And just have a, uh, a straightforward discussion on the issue that uh, has been lingering for a long time. Uh, I'm a senator that comes from the uh, Finger Lakes region. Uh, I haven't actually counted up the wineries, but I'm pretty sure I, I represent more wineries uh, than any other uh, district uh, in the state, uh, with my district covering from uh, uh, Cayuga Lake, uh, including Seneca, Cuca, um, part of Canandaigua, uh, as well as Juanita and Lamoca. So there's a great deal of uh, wine country, great deal of uh, uh, grape growers, farmers in the area that uh, live all this industry. Uh, it, uh, you know, it wasn't too many years ago when New York was the second uh, uh, most grape producing um, state in the country. I think we've now dropped to fourth, uh, but yet we are the, uh, I think the 11th only in sales of wines. And uh, for the, for the uh, interests of uh, my wineries and my district and across New York State, and the grape growers, uh, we're looking at initiatives to how we can expand that uh, since we have such a populous state. Um, what is limiting uh, wine growth in this state compared to others since we are such a great uh, uh, grape and wine producer uh, in this state. Uh, and, uh, you know, the legislation that myself and Assemblyman Morelli uh, put in a couple weeks ago uh, is uh, um, a start to continue these discussions uh, across the state uh, to hear inputs from both sides. Um, as it has been uh, quite controversial in the past. Uh, 